go get more water. Uh, now there's like seven trucks over there. Another beautiful day. No clouds. Looks like the water's dropped a little bit more too. It's going out faster than it's coming in. That's for sure. Water looks pretty good over here by these rocks. That's where we'll go again. There hasn't been a bunch of boats speeding around. There's been a couple of fishermen out here. They don't really speed around a lot. It's a little here and there. They're usually just trolling. Yeah, that water level went down quite a bit. Darn boats, go away. quite an adventure just to get a drink of water. Whoa! That was about a whole new adventure. Yeah, our spot's getting pretty shallow. That's okay. We've got a whole lake still.
out a little bit. Clean the filter out a little. Not looking bad. Nice and deep right here. I'm not stirring the water up at all, or the mud, I mean. There, that's some good water. Good flow rate. Nice and cold. Wow. Better refill that. I think I just drank about half of it. Tighten that a little too tight that time. Dirty my hands are. Look how dirty that thing is. Set that in the dirt. Wash my hands. My arm. Got all that soot on me this morning. From the fire pit. I'm <laughs> going all the way up to my shoulders this time. I'm dirty. Oh, that feels so good though. Just brought a washcloth down here. There's one up in the backpack. Oh, that feels good. Nice and refreshing. Put some on my head. It is really hot out here, guys. So good. All right, adjusting the camera a little bit again. Refreshing. the outside of it all right guys we got water again 
This is how much it holds. 17 ounces, 15 or 500 milliliters. Soon all that's gonna be rubbed off. use this thing a lot I'm gonna see if I can connect the hose I wonder if the hose would fit in that at home and I can spray water up and through it clean that filter out maybe I'm not sure how to clean the filter in this one this isn't the actual Life Straw brand, I just call it a Life Straw. It's kind of like Q-tips and Band-Aids, you know. Those aren't the actual names of all of them. They're just some of the brand names that we've stuck with calling everything. A Q-tip is actually a cotton swab. A Band-Aid is an adhesive bandage. Life Straw. <laughs> this one's a bag and straw. It's the cheaper one. Look at these butterflies. Let's see if you guys can see them. This butterfly doesn't like film. That's the kind that was sitting up on my tent up there. Hi, butterfly. Think we can get closer guys I bet we'll scare him away but we gotta try Go nice and slow he's staring right at us yep see he's like nope I don't think so we zoomed right past the well on the way here This is not the one we used. There's a butterfly right there. This isn't the mountain stream we used, but look at the flow rate on that one. Next time we're here, I'm going to dig a well on this one, way up here. I like the flow rate on this one a lot better than ours. Or maybe it's because ours connects to it. So it's actually two of them, the flow rate down here. I don't know. We'll Trial and error, you know. We we'll keep trying. Oh, all three of them connect to that one. Here's ours. Ours just kind of stops right here. Too bad those weren't still in good shape. Look at that. Speedo camouflage goggles. I think we can go hang them up at camp just for fun. Man, these bugs. I got close to the water source and these bugs are covering me. Go away. Okay guys, let's go back up to camp and put our water in the shade so it doesn't get hot.
I only brought this down here. I didn't bring the canteen this time. Lift that up at camp. Next trip down there, I'll actually bring the canteen. That launch time. Got a little bit of water in the canteen. If I make top ramen for lunch, I can just boil that water, purify it, and then throw some noodles in it. I still had a little bit in there. I can't remember. I don't know if it's enough to make ramen. We'll have to double check. If it's not, then we're walking back down to the lake to get more water. Okay, like I was trying to say before, before the battery died, I think we'll have chicken this time. Okay. Off we go. Over to the, the core fire pit. The only shade seems to be over here. I have to sit out in the sun. Okay, and we get some pine noodles and stuff. Throw in a couple of pine cones too. Just gone cheat this time. Boom, it's lit. break. There we go.
Lots of sticks right up here. Break these up into smaller pieces over there. That should be enough for now. Didn't stay clean very long, did I? Wipe down on my pants. There we go. <laughs> okay. I showed you guys yesterday how to boil and purify the water. The whole let it boil three minutes, but I let it boil five. That should be plenty. That won't take very long to boil either. Put that on so nothing flies into it. There, we'll just let that boil. I don't have to show you guys that again. Yeah, the lid down in there. Goes to this cup here. I had to buy this all separately, by the way. It doesn't come all as one. But I recommend just getting these pouches here used. Buy the canteen brand new. And then the cup brand new. But you can get this used. A lot cheaper that way. That's what I did. I'm trying to decide if I want any spices in my ramen. I don't think so. Not this time. Gotta grab an extra battery. Actually, I'm gonna grab both of them because these were charged with the solar charger. Even though it says they're fully charged, they're probably only halfway charged. Still good enough to get us by. I still got other batteries too. Don't worry. And then poof, just like magic, we've skipped the whole purifying process for you guys. I don't like my ramen really soupy, so that might even be more than enough water. go give it a camp wash wipe 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 all done oh it's so hot from sitting in the sun ouch 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 oh yeah that's gonna be great that's like the perfect amount noodles will soak up all that juice I don't like it all juicy sticks in it.
take this, set it right up here. Hot, hot, hot. Everything's hot. I'm gonna go stand in the shade for a minute. Whew. So much firewood right here, even. That's great. Close to the fire pit there. That's perfect. Alright, let's go sit in the shade. Let this cool down. Okay. Let's see, over here is not pine needles and stuff. That'll be a good spot to let that cool down. Never set it on flammable things. I can't say that enough. I'm slowly getting camp broke down. tent in the potty room last just in case something happens and I don't get picked up today you never know truck could break down <laughs> always try to expect the unexpected prepare for everything because if it happens and it starts getting dark He's not going to be coming over here because he can't come over here in the dark. We still got all day though. I like to take my time and get it done. Never in the biggest hurry to leave. But supplies are running low. If we stay any longer, I have to do some fishing. Maybe even some hunting. Brought a hundred rounds of ammunition. Just in case. You never know when you're going to have to eat a little bird or a squirrel. I think I brought plenty of food though. If I want to be eating lots of ramen. That's pretty good emergency food. All you need is water. And as you see, I got plenty of water down there in the lake. Imagine how many packets of ramen we can make with all that lake. More packets than I have. Because even without the live straw, we could sit there and boil the water. I even got some tea I brought. But it's been too hot to crave tea. I've already been drinking coffee. I prefer just plain old water during the day. Or Tang. Tang's one of my favorites. Gives you a boost of energy. Vitamin C. But I didn't bring none this time. I left that at home. On purpose. I wanted just plain old water this time. And I can taste better to make sure my filter's working. Because you can tell by the taste when it's gone through your filter whether it's working or not. It kind of has like a, a filter taste to it. Versus just lake or stream. Those taste way different. Try it out and you'll see what I mean. So I'll probably be able to tell when my filter gets too used up too. Because then it'll start tasting like lake and stream again.
and that's when we stop and clean it out or get a new one. I want to get one of those hand pump ones. You just put the tube in the water and you just pump, 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 pump. That'd be a lot faster to fill up my canteen and stuff. Which now I have to wash the canteen because it's had lake water in it. Or not lake water, but it had the water from our, our well in it. Which had to be boiled first. So that means anything I put in that canteen until I go home and wash it would be, happen to have, be boiled. The way to wash it is you use a little bit of bleach because you can't really get down in there and scrub it. I think it's like a tablespoon of bleach. Maybe even just a capful. Look it up to be sure. Don't quote me on it. But then you have to rinse it out really good. That's how I have to clean these big blue jugs too. You gotta bleach them out and then rinse them real good. You don't want any mold or bacteria growing in there. Bleach. Bleach is your buddy. Kills like 99.99% or whatever. Okay, time to relax and enjoy my ramen. I'll get back with you guys later.